family friends, I'm super excited to be able to see you today. Are your singing voices ready? Because it's time to get up on your feet and sing and dance with Miss Cindy. Well, hey everybody, I'm so glad to see you again. Are you ready to praise the Lord with me? You know what? God loves hearing you praise Him. Today is a brand new day and I wanna say thank you. Today is a brand new day and I wanna say thank you. This is the day that God has made. Come on and put a smile on your face. This is the day that God has made. Come on and put a smile on your face. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Woo! Everybody sing with me today. It's a brand new day. I wanna say thank you. Today is a brand new day. I wanna say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Wow, great job. This is the day that God has made. Psalm 118 verse 24. And aren't you glad we have the Bible? Yes. And I'm glad I could tell everyone about him. Let's all stand up, 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 up. And we're going to do our, our song again from the top of our head way down to our toes. Here we go. From the top of my head way, way down to my toes. I can't keep it all inside. I want to jump with all my might. From the top of my head, way, way down to my toes. I can't keep it all inside. I want to dance with all my might. Woo! Everybody everywhere, raise your hands up in the air. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is alive. Everybody everywhere, raise your hands up in the air. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is alive. getting so great at that song but now let's all sit down 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 great job everybody listen to your bible story and i'll be right back see you in a minute welcome back worship friends i hope you got all of your wiggles out because now it's time for a bible adventure if you have your bibles can you touch it to your nose great job friends our bible adventure is from the back half of the bible which is called the new testament and the book we will be in is in the first four books of the New Testament. Do you remember what those are called? The Gospels. You're so right. And the first four books are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we will be in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verses 12 through 16. But before we dive into our story today, I have a question for you. Who is your best friend? Wow, really? My best friend is Mariah. Do you see her there? <gasps> Mariah loves to write stories and her favorite color is dark green and she loves pepperoni pizza. She even named her car pepperoni. In our story today, Jesus chooses his friends. Let's put on our listening ears and button and zip our lips so that way we can hear who Jesus chooses as his friends. Our Bible adventure starts with Jesus. And Jesus, he goes to the mountain to pray. The Bible says that Jesus does this a lot. And on this day, Jesus prayed on the mountain all throughout the night. Then when the sun began to rise, Jesus came down off the mountain to go call his disciples. Do you know what disciples are? A disciple is someone who learns from a teacher and will one day teach others what they were taught. In other words, 
Jesus' disciples would learn all about God and what it means to live their lives for them. And then once Jesus went to heaven, they would begin their journey in telling others how they too can live for God. Once Jesus came down from the mountain, he began calling his disciples, and there were 12 of them. Are you ready for their names? Jesus called Simon, who he named Peter, and Peter's brother, Andrew. He also called James and John, and they were brothers too. He called Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, another man named Simon, who was also called the Zealot. And then there was Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who would be the one to turn Jesus over to the officials. But you know what? Jesus still called him. And that, boys and girls, were all of the 12 disciples. My friends, Jesus is calling you two to be his disciple. Jesus wants you to learn what it means to follow God with all of your heart. But most importantly, Jesus wants to be your friend forever, just like he was to his disciples. But we can't become Jesus' friend forever until we say we're sorry for our sins. If you remember what sin is, do the motions with me, okay? Sin is anything that we think, say, or do that breaks God's laws and separates us from him. And we can't be friends if we have sin in our lives. So God sent his son Jesus to die on a cross for our sins so that way he can get rid of our sins and we can be God's friend forever. So all we have to do is say sorry to God and that we would like his help in learning how to live our lives for him. If you have any questions about this, please take the time now to go ask someone about it. Alrighty. For those of you who are left, I hope you kept your listening ears on because I have a couple questions for you. My first question is, what was Jesus doing at the very beginning of our story? Do you remember? Jesus was up in the mountains and he was praying to God. How many disciples did Jesus call? Do you remember the number? Jesus called 12 disciples. And my last question is, what is a disciple? Hmm. A disciple is someone who follows after God and learns how to live their lives for him. Well, my friends, I hope you want to tell the story to somebody else because we have a few ways you can do that. One way is our coloring page. It says, Jesus picked 12 men to be his disciples. You see them all there? Another one is a super cool Frisbee, and it says, I am a happy helper, and it has all of Jesus' helpers there. Well, don't go away just yet because Miss Cindy will be right back with the memory verse. Bye-bye. Welcome back, everyone. Did Jesus choose his disciples? Is that what your Bible story was about? Yes. How many were there? Were there 12? 12 people that followed Jesus. You're right. And in the Bible, Mark 1.17 says, Jesus said, come and I'll see you all next time.